then he clinches. Exactly what you gotta oh, do. Oh, he oh, hurt! They're in the clinch, he breaks free, bam, on the chin, Stipe goes down, boom, 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 out cold. Crazy. Look at this again. They're in the clinch. DC lands a perfect right hand. The legs go out, boom. And right here, this is what it's about, clinching at the right time and then dirty boxing at the right time to nullify the height and the power of Stipe from distance. That's what Cormier had to do. He had to choose the right time to box at distance with combinations and then close in the gap. As we see him grab to the clinch, and now he dirty boxes right as he breaks away. It creates opportunities for him. Boom! Overhand right in the clinch, which is basically one of his staples. He's got a good overhand right, but you see the power is serious in Daniel Cormier at this weight class. He's a true heavyweight. Down or land some knees here. He landed one. There he Dragging goes. Him down. Drags him down. He's gonna Dang. make Derek pay. Nice oh, angle nice. pick. Good ankle pick. So Derek Lewis forced to fight off his back yet again. Just over three minutes to go here, round two. And DC immediately gets him in the side control again. Oh, and he steps over that leg. That's a terrible position to be in. You have no real defense other than turning your back at that point. And he gives up his back and Daniel's got oh, one hook in. Oh, that's it, Joe. He's got the neck. Looks like he sees under that chin. He's got a There's tap. tap. Daniel it. Cormier defends his UFC heavyweight title. A quick night at the office for the still heavyweight king and one of the greatest of all time, Gilroy High School wrestling coach Daniel Cormier. Well, it was the single leg game of DC all day. He could head outside, inside, it didn't matter whether he was gonna pick you up with a high crotch. Here we saw him, he had the, the head and arm, he snapped it down, that's an amazing little ankle pick. As soon as Lewis popped up, he picked that ankle, got on top, came around, took the back, threw in the choke, made it look seamless and easy. The champ champ strikes again. There's a reason this man is one of the greatest mixed martial artists that we have today. And a big part of the goal tonight was to try to preserve a potential date with Brock Lesnar prior well, to his 40th birthday, which is March 20th of next year. A massive payday for Daniel Cormier, and certainly he gets the desired result here tonight. No one's ever heard of. Yeah. Cormier caught he him, again. him again. He's hurt. Cormier it's again speed. with the uppercut. Looking to finish the fight. He's Cuff in trouble. Cummins is in all sorts of trouble. Just Patrick Cummins! But kept the pressure on with beautiful combinations. And let's look at this uppercut that starts it off. Tagged him. No, I believe this is after he'd already been hurt. That's a good one right there. Yeah, this is towards the end. Yeah, this is towards the end. But he had tagged him with several punches before that. And just Daniel Cormier in the finest form we've ever seen inside the octagon. With the distinct size advantage, plenty of power in his striking as well. Cormier now along the fence. <laughs> Cormier's laughing like, wow, I can't believe I got out of the way of those. Again looking to catch the kick, catches him with the right instead. A minute 11, left in the first, a jab from Cormier. Oh, oh God. my God, down goes Silva, Cormier has done it! And the round started with a bang. It was all Cormier overhand right, right on the chin. Silva just wilting from it, but having enough to go back to his guard and get good position, hand control. He went right back to his game, but they just kept coming. Yeah, Cormier, man, that, that was a beautiful overhand right. And Cormier patient, waiting, a, a nice little hook, uppercut right there, shakes the head of Silva, you can see it, and he went down like a sack of potatoes. End of the fight, right there. It's because DC gives him a takedown. DC doesn't care if he gets taken down, he knows he can stand back up, he's wearing Rumble out with these takedown attempts. So he gives underhooks so Rumble shoots down to the legs. And now DC does his work, gets the takedowns back. And Cormier has gotten past that magic seven minute mark that he talks so much about. And he takes Johnson now. Has his back. back. Here we are again. Oh my goodness. 
unless he resets by rolling to his back towards DC. Otherwise, he's just going to keep getting punched until the end. Those are the hands of God. Bumble better move. Now Cormier trying to sink in a choke. Gale's on it. He's out of the net. Oh, my goodness. And there's the time. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's in. And here we see the takedown. Beautiful trip. Gets on top, gets his back, and does not get off. Hits him with these hammer fists, punches, wore him out. Controlled his position and then got under the neck. Secured the choke, pulled his chin up. I mean, Rumble's not even defending here. He just. Flattens out and taps. DC's all over him now. Full mouth. And he knows he can out grapple him now after feeling that choke. So you're going to see DC just stay on the grappling and just look to grab him out from the top position here in the ground attack. He's not going to let Ozdemir back up. Not much resistance from Ozdemir. It's a case of pick your poison. You want to get grounded and pounded or give up your back. Taking his time. There's no rush here. He's in a dominant position, and this hurts for Ozmir. Yeah, Ozmir is getting his energy sapped out. He's getting beaten up. The fight's dangerously close to being stopped just like this. It's pretty much there. Warning from the referee, Kevin McDonald, for Ozdemir to get out of there. But he can't. I mean, he's really... And that is it! Daniel Cormier defends in style! The secret to affordable shot. And what we see here is DC drags him in, shoots a double, transitions to a duck under, and then transitions to a high crotch with his head on the outside, which forces Ozdemir to balance, which is not fun for a big, tall guy. Then he goes straight to mount to the crucifix position and pounds him out. Beautiful finish by DC, showing the champion that he is, showing how high level and skilled he is at a 205 pounds. And everything DC said leading up to this fight was, I am just going to smash this guy. And that is exactly what he did here tonight. Cormier attended Oklahoma State University. Now Cormier, top position on Frazier. Yeah, he threw the knee and slipped, as you saw. And I think that was probably more from fatigue than anything else. He's in the open half guard, dropping those long range hammer fists. And now, Steven Quadros, he's playing the drums on his face. He really is. I would have to say that was almost a parallel. Left, right, left, left, and right, left, right, right. And now, Frazier gives up his back. Hooks in. A minute and a half left in the second round. Frazier getting pounded on the ears. And Frazier right now looks like the proverbial fish on the water. The referee stops the fight. You can slap some good old JR's barbecue sauce on Frazier. He is done. Cormier. Get up. That's it. Get up, man. Looking to become the new champion. He has been carrying Daniel's weight like this, and this is absolutely exhausting to a guy who's already tired. Don't this seal fight, up. Yep, the this fight has thing. gone according to plan for Cormier. But that's the last thing you want to be, have to tell your fighter. Don't give up. Daniel's got it under Trying the net. Trying to lock it up and become the champion. He's going to tap. It is all over. Daniel Cormier It's the new UFC light heavyweight champion! Here's a high kick by Rumble early, tagged DC, and here's a big takedown by Daniel. And there's a nasty elbow and big shots from the top by Cormier. And this is the end of the fight. He gets the back of Rumble, gets on top of him, beats him down, makes him carry his weight, and eventually slid that forearm under the neck and secured the rear naked choke. Good at anything. It's just, it's they're willing to work harder. They're smarter. They're more focused. There's just something about the elite of the elite 
in, in any given sport. They embrace the grind, and really, Joe, what you just said about Daniel Cormier, we were saying about Cain Velasquez five years ago. Absolutely. Same base, yep. and look where he is now. And this is one of the reasons why Cain is so good, and this Absolutely. is one of the reasons also why Daniel's so good. And we've seen him, you know, lose in the second round of the Anderson Silva fight. But a good first round, yeah. Yeah, a good first round where he controlled Anderson yeah. on the ground. But we've never seen this. I mean, this is... This is Daniel Cormier proving to the world that he's one of the best in the division at 205 pounds, one of the scariest of the contenders. Bigger, younger, faster. Just awesome, you know? And now Daniel Cormier, he's got the back of Dan Henderson with the arm underneath the neck. Yeah, he wants to Dan finish his fight. Trying to tap him out. He might have it here. DC looking he's for the submission. His own glove for the finish. Man, how tough is that? That's it. It is all over. Yeah. Daniel Cormier, winner by submission. By Daniel Cormier, look at this. I mean, he did that to Josh Barnett, so I don't know why we're surprised that he did it to Dan Henderson. But look at this, he gets him back up, and look at this trip, watch this. Gets him up, watch his left leg, whoop, boom. I mean, it's like, I mean, all due respect, it's like a man and a boy. Now here, he sunk it in, he got his back, and he never tapped. Eve Levine recognized that Dan was out. Dan never tapped. There's not a tougher man that's ever walked the face of the planet than Dan Henderson. Amen. Cormier mounting up. Watch the back of the head. That yeah. one looked like it could have been illegal. There's an arm bar there if he wants it, but I don't think he wants it. Watch it, there you go. Now dropping some hammer fists is Daniel Cormier. It's been all Daniel Cormier in this one. Deion Starin basically just surviving. Look at this dude, he's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this At what point does he say that's enough? Well, I'm thinking John's gonna stop in here pretty soon. One minute to go in round number two. And that's gonna do it! Good call by Big John McCarthy!